New tonight, it seems wherever you go these days, someone is driving a golf cart, sometimes right on the road. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis breaks down how they've become so popular off course and why their popularity might be outpacing the law. It is a whole new world. It's Power Wheels for adults. <laughs> That's a good way of putting it. If you got a good cart that you just bought, this neighbor wants a better car. Nine out of 10 times they're trying to keep up with the Jones. COVID brought a lot of new to our lives. Right after COVID, uh, it, the business really boomed all around the world. But one unexpected craze that's here to stay, on trend, off course, personalized golf carts. The personal golf cart industry really is a new um, segment of the market share. Uh, 15 years ago, people that were buying golf carts lived on a golf course. They were golfers. Ashley Botero and her husband just opened Botero Carts in Charlotte a few months ago. They were surprised when their sales surpassed what they were doing in the Sunshine State. Florida is a powerhouse for golf carts, so we are doing almost triple what we were doing down there. So it was very surprising to see that kind of interest in this area. Selling 15 to 30 carts a week, they've seen the customization really take off. How many people would you say in this neighborhood have golf carts? I would say probably close to 25%. In neighborhoods like Baxter Village and Mason's Bend in Fort Mill. Hi, Joe. Hey, buddy. How are you? Hey, V. The souped up carts have become a way of life. This community has roughly 700 homes plus. Uh, it's just finished out and then Village of Baxter is about 1500 homes and you'll see any any street in Baxter you'll see multiple golf carts and I think it's just because it's so much vaster. But what about safety? Go ahead guys. You going across? Go ahead. I mean see, that to me is so much safer than a car like cars not you know I mean it's like you can just stop. Some neighbors boast it's a safer way to get around but with the influx of carts on the road it might depend on who's driving and where. We are seeing an increase of golf carts in and around our highways. And unfortunately, that has resulted in an increase in crashes involving vehicles and golf carts as well. Tragically, in June of this year, a five-year-old, 13-year-old, and their dad died in a collision with an alleged drunk driver on Fort Dobbs Road in Statesville. The driver of the car, Austin Harmon, is facing charges. But Queen City News discovered the golf cart legally shouldn't have been on the road. North Carolina allows golf carts on highways, but only when it's been, uh, an ordinance has been enacted by a local municipality or government allowing golf carts on the uh, streets or highways in their specific area. Iredell County and Statesville don't have golf cart ordinances, meaning it's actually more strict. Drivers can't take these on any roads. Other areas like Charlotte, Tiga Kay, and Belmont have their own ordinances. All require the driver to be 16 or older and have a valid driver's license. But some like Belmont require a city permit, rear view mirrors, a slow moving sign or flag on the back of the cart, and other safety features, some of which we didn't see while driving along Main Street. Queen City News reached out to multiple law enforcement agencies regarding the enforcement of golf cart ordinances. Belmont police specifically said they've received an uptick in complaints about the age of drivers and they intend to use any violations as a teaching moment. Morgan Francis, Queen City News.